Hey everyone, I'm Marty. Welcome back to Scrap Mechanic. In this episode, we are going to build bull tank, which means I wanted to shoot, but also be able to ram into things. So we are talking about drills and saw blades attached to the front of the vehicle. I wanted to be armored, but fairly light at the same time. And I wanted to be to move fast. Before we start, let me show you two things, and one of them is a new mod I've installed. The mod is called Expanded Info, link in the description below. And it adds many useful information like speedometer, time, how much ammo I carry. Uh, when I equip a block, it tells me how much blocks of the same type I have in my inventory. When we attack bots, we can see their health bar. Uh, raid warnings, how many and what kind of bots I can expect when uh, raids are triggered. And I can turn on and off uh, features in the config window. The mod has its own installer, so it's easy to install. And it's compatible with uh, many mods. Cool stuff. Second thing I would like to show you is my freshly built aircraft Jet Scout Mark II. Let's call it. Uh, as I said before, the original Jet Scout built in one of the previous episodes flew away. I had no bed or beacon installed on it, so yeah, it's gone. I tried to find it even with this one, with this Jet Scout Mark II, but I couldn't. So the original Jet Scout is officially lost. But I have this one. So let me show you around. First of all, beacon. I will never lose it again. Second of all, wheels, land gear, uh, which is uh, very helpful. I can now kind of like, you know, drive it, but only kind of like. It has no steering, nothing like that. But it, it is useful to just, you know, land safely. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven jet thrusters. I wanted to say jet engines, thrusters. It's huge that the, the aircraft is quite large, to say the least. Made of the same material, wooden block and uh, armored glass, thick pipes, nicely colored. Of course, landing gear can be retracted. And also, you know, collision problems are no more. Let me take you for a spin. Let's fly and visit a couple places that I would like to show you. But first, fuel. It chugs fuel like freaking mad. Pretty much every thruster has its own uh, fuel tank. And it's still not so efficient. <laughs> like seriously, I, it's just in insane. But, uh, you know, the mobility and the fact that I can just, you know, fly in this game is compensating everything. And I have oil rig, so I cannot complain. I have all the fuel I need and more. Okay, let's fly. It's insanely stable, which is based on the the, the stability I made. It's, it's like based on the Jet Scout Mark 1, but it's more and better. So these are to just uh, control thruster, throttle, uh, and yeah. Now I turn it off, seven, and we are again stable, but we are not going up anymore. Now, main thrusters, hide it, and we can go, whoa, 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 wait, 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 uh, five and hide, okay, and we can go like, um, 180 kilometers per hour, full speed, maybe 190 if I want it. I was really searching for the Jet Scout Mark 1. I. I couldn't find it. Uh, sad face. Okay, let's turn back and visit Red X Mark. Oh, by the way, this is the, the Jet Scout Mark 2 is by far the most expensive construction I've ever done. 
in my scrap mechanic life. Like, it's so freaking... It costed me so much time to farm. Be careful. Okay, we will be going down. So, let's turn off landing gear. And let's slowly descend. And you can already see what I'm talking about. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Thrusters. Oh, it wasn't that... Stop, stop. I, I'm, I'm confusing controls still. Because I have to use two and one on the keyboard to turn. So it, it's not the most comfortable way of steering. But it's okay. Let's see. I haven't checked it out. So we are doing this. Now this is like second spawn point. I don't think so. It's not like starting point. But I can find my way in here. No fire. Let's go in. Pretty much nothing here. Oh! This is cool. Cool looking. Mug. Uh, bed. Yeah, that's it. It just crashed. Nothing is here. Except the uh, mug and cool looking locker. And yeah, I was looking for my Jet Scout, OG Jet Scout, but. Uh, and I found this. Okay, it's not starting point for sure. Or I don't know. Maybe. Maybe it's like for multiplayer. Uh, but yeah is here i will leave the beacon and let's fly to another location which is green flower look no fuel already insanity right and freaking sanity basically this aircraft is good when i know where to go you know like fixed destination uh, for exploration it's good but the fuel is gone really fast, so it's not the best for exploration. This is what I'm trying to say. You see, raid is starting, expanded info mod, very useful. I guess I will put that mug here. So, green flower. You can already see that it's just one huge uh, field so this will be my next project in the next episode to build automated farm it won't be fully automated because it's impossible without mods uh, but i wanted to make this farm as automated as possible without using automation mods because you know new version mods are breaking so i want to make it uh, universal. One soil here and one here. It's gonna be like hundreds of packs of soil. Little pond here for watering. Cool. And here. All right. So this in the next episode, I will need, like I said, hundreds and hundreds of soil. Soil here. But it's not enough. And a little field here. I didn't notice. Anyway, let's go back to the mechanics chapel because the the aircraft is built is made of light materials it can float so let's land in the water all right Okay, let's park it. Stop. No farming, no resource or materials gathering in this episode. I have everything prepared. So, like I said, I want the bull tank to be fairly light. So the frame will be made of wood block 3. And the armor will be made of metal block 3. We'll need um, 8 wheels. The turret, cannon turret mechanism will be 
made of wood block, uh, metal block three and wood block three around it. Eight wheels, large wheels, I might add. Let's continue. This time I'm going to use a driver's saddle. Looks cool. Let's see about the height of the, the of the frame. So one, two, three, four. No, 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 no. I must adjust the length of the vehicle. All right, the length of the vehicle is set by four wheels on each side. The biggest issue is to make the vehicle proportional. So the turret cannon will not be too big for the rest of the car, you know, and the car will not be like flipping easily. The cannon will be made of 24 mountable spot guns. So the turret will be at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks wide. So this is basically the frame of the vehicle. Uh, it's going to be the vehicle will be wider because wheels still. And I think four of the eight wheels will be turning. I think I'm going to use sports suspension. I don't think bigger suspension would be useful or even needed. So yeah, nothing that we haven't seen before. It's still fun to build frames and suspension. I still enjoy it. And I still make mistakes. Wow, <laughs> damn it. It's too freaking low. Everything is in the right order. Now, as always, test drive. This is like drifting vehicle now. Collision. I don't know about that. I mean, obviously it's very light now, so it's fast and just flying all over the place. But when I install armor and turret and cannon, yeah, it won't be so, you know, floating almost. It's good. Now, mm, the turret itself and then all the armor plates around. Okay, now the turret mechanism. Turret will be of course made of metal block 3. I would prefer metal block 2 because it looks like brushed aluminum. But yeah, metal block 3 is more durable and it's not heavier. Okay, um, left turn, right turn and seat great controllers all right now controller here controller here switches temporarily of course as always one here one here controllers uh, connect this one here this one here uh, turn one yes 180, 180, connect to the switches. And so this one will be turning right. So this one is two. This one should be one, one and two. Okay, now two, we turn right, 180, yes. And we go back to the default position and one we turn left 180 and we go back to the default position you can speed it up now this is okay right but when we put both controllers on loop we're gonna get something cool we can again turn left and go back turn right and go back we can also go 180 and when we stop we'll stay 180 turned the turret will be 180 to the back right you see now the coolest part is when we turn right and press left at the same time 
the turret will lock itself, let's say on the target. And when we press both off switches, we go back to the default position. Same with when we are turned 180 to the back. This is now our default position and we turn right and lock. And we can just spin endlessly if we want. But one way or another, uh, we can lock our turret on certain angle. We can drive like this, you know, right? Then we go back. Oops, my bad. We can shoot something behind. We go back to the default position. We go, we see like target here, so we stop. Gotcha. And we shoot, shoot. Now the same thing I would like to do uh, for the cannon. To, you know, control the angle, uh, vertical angle. All right. All right. So I have to use the same idea. One, two. Um, bearing, lock, bearing, lock, bearing, lock, and uh, connect. Okay. Okay. Now connect this and this. So this will be up, this will be down. Okay, it's connected. Um, 30 degrees. 30. All right. Going down. Too much, but it's fine. Going up. And I cannot lock it because I cannot loop it. I won't even need that, to be honest. I mean, going down a little can be helpful for the uh, for smaller bots, right? And higher, I don't think we can, we, we have to. So let's leave it like that. Another thing is that I think I went too far with 25 mountable guns, potato guns. So I think we'll make it minus four. So 21. This, <laughs> this would be the cannon. I like it. Oh my goodness, I like it. I think it has to be a little higher. I don't know. It's gonna fuel tank. No. Stay here. Shoot. Bam. Why there's so many bot arms here? Um, aiming will be a little tricky. This is cool. Okay. So now we need um, how many? 20? I forgot. My goodness. 21. I, I got one and I got three more. And I will need potato ammo container. PAC. I want to shoot a lot. So one container is not an option. Absolutely not. I have to think about it. You know what? Instead of trying to build the cannon on the tank, I'm going to build the cannon off the tank and then attach it to the tank when it's ready. Yeah. So let's go get mountable spot guns and potato ammo containers. First, I have to go to Gordon Farmer and see what kind of what types of packs I need. Uh, to get four drills, four saw blades, and 17 mountable spot guns. Yo. <laughs> to Gordon Farmer. Let me count and write down how many and what kind of packs I will need. I will need eight packs of blueberries, 21 packs of tomatoes, 10 packs of red beets, and as much banana packs as I can carry. So first, vegetables. We'll have to go to another station, fruit station. I mean, too many? Nah. 
Okay, now we need to move self-expanding truck and hot rod to the fruit packaging station. Here comes the lag. We'll be all right. And we go with fruits, fruit packs. And we crash. Oh my goodness, I cannot put it back. What to do now? Almost. <laughs> Get up. Get up. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. All right. I'm saved. Adventure. Oh, adventure. Here I come. What do you have for me in your store? Maybe truck will flip today? Oh, adventure, what you got? Tell me what you say. <laughs> Shopping time, Gordon. Let me eat first. Okay, so I need four, one drill, because I have three in the storage. Four saw blades, five uh, potato ammo containers, and 17 mountable spot guns. All right, pleasure doing business. Okay, I want this in this, mounted to this, and all this in this. And this will be it, this. Let's start. And the last three cannons, uh, mountable spot guns. It does look impressive, I must say. All right, now what to do with it? Let's make it as light as possible, which is quite impossible. No, 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 I think I will make it wooden. You know, <laughs> this will be too freaking heavy. I already can tell. So no, no, no. Wood block three. Okay, this should work. It's fine like this. Should be good. Two independent blocks. And this block to just, you know, let it turn vertically. Okay, now let's weld it. It's welded. Let's test it. Oh my goodness, did you see that? Okay, this is too freaking heavy. And I welded it on the on the other side. We need counterweight, for sure. Large chest here. Let's put two fuel tanks here, maybe. Let's see. Now it's like breaking in half. Oh my goodness. This, this is gonna... Wow. Too fast. And stop, 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 stop. Yo. <laughs> this is so much fun. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, it's... It's it's quite stable now. I think I will have to um, extend the, the frame. Yeah, it would be nice to, I think I will extend, so, um, 12 wheels. Yeah, it, it's gonna be better, like this. And maybe wider, the, the, the vehicle should be wider. Yeah, let's, let's make it wider. I still need to pack six uh, ammo containers, and another engine, and one, two, bearing wheel bearing wheel and upgrade suspension parts yes damn it 12 wheels right 10 connections engine max upgrade <sighs> i will skip the middle ones the rear has to be oh my god okay let's see no, 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 no. Too, too freaking fast. 
I have an idea how to make the turret more stable. This is ridiculous now. But I don't know if it works. And yes, I'm missing one wheel. First, I need to get things right. All the things inside the, the tank. So, like this. And like this. I'm so dumb. Seven containers. 21 cannons, not 24. Oh my goodness, I need one more container. One more. I didn't have to transport any fruit packages, so that's good. Can I see how much ammo I have? Yes, it's okay. Connecting. And the last connection here. Everything should be connected. Okay, now we need potatoes. All of them. And this is why we need serious farming outpost, which we are going to build in the next episode. Okay, let's test it. I have temporary switch somewhere here, here, here. Make it red and connect it to all the, oh my goodness. All right. Let's shoot. Whoa. Slow motion. Awesome. I see a bot here. That's like nothing. I mean, like, he didn't even feel it. Okay, let's finish the construction and then we go hunting farm bots. I guess so. Yep. Okay, we'll need a second engine for this. Now we are installing saw blades on the back of the tank. So four pistons. Three. Yeah, three will be fine. Bearings here, 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 here. Okay, and we need pipes, and pipe corners. Pipe corners times six, um, long pipes times six. Again, pipe corners times six and pipe joints. All right, now bearings. And of course, saw blades connected let's test it it's good cool okay one more working now let's make the the base of the turret thicker you know using uh, wooden blocks three uh, to not make it too heavy okay now controllers for the turret will be here of course because in case if i want to like uh, you know cut the turret and you know to not lose the all the connections so this is the console um switches and reinforced glass okay same here and here and of course on the back I don't know if it looks nice, but yeah. So let's connect everything to the seat. This is fire. Um, left, right, up and down. Saw blades, engine. Let's see if everything works. 
loop i forgot okay fire works left right okay cannon up cannon down which will be useful um like you know here all right cannon up saw blades working all right everything works so now the armor <laughs> does it look good I, d I don't even know what to say i mean let's continue and see where this relationship takes us okay it is armored i don't want to to put too much of the the armor you know metal blocks three because i'm afraid of you know frames drops but the tank is <laughs> armored and it looks ridiculous but then again it does look like a tank under a certain angle so it's it's it, it looks raw i'm aware but then again like i said i don't want to put too much to not make it too heavy to not make it lag um but i kind of like it and yeah i know that the reinforced glass is so not practical i'm gonna probably change it i mean it's it, it's it's very raw it, it reminds me of kinda reminds me of those uh, tanks from tron it's not neon or you know but you know the lines are like kind of like from tron uh, so yeah let's let's leave it like that and of course now it is time for paint job i think i will go with navy blue or maybe like dark purple <laughs> no 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 absolutely not let's see it doesn't make any difference but i want it to be more stealthy i guess i guess that's everything ultimately i went with navy blue and dark red i think it's cool i think this should be more dark yeah i like i like the tank being so raw but at the same time I would want it to be fully armored, but then again, it doesn't need to be fully armored uh, because, yeah, well, I can just maneuver myself out of the danger and connect it. So this is the final product. <laughs> Bull tank. It does look cool. Oh, it's it's freaking yeah it's 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 heavy i can feel that so let's let's adjust the power of the engine i've built this tank to hunt farm bots i want to hunt farm bots because they drop key cards and i need key cards to get access to warehouses and i need access to warehouses to get broccoli and pineapple seeds and I need broccoli and pineapple seeds to, of course, plant them and harvest broccoli and pineapples to get spudling gun and spud shotgun. By the way, I didn't expect this tank to be so mobile, you know? Okay, first I will need one beacon. One beacon. There you go. Now I will need my aircraft to scout the area and look and search for farm bot's nest. No, this is just burn forest. It's not farm bot's nest. Not here. Turn off the lights. Where was it? I think over there. Yeah. 
Yes, yes, it's there. To be safe, I'm gonna land in the water. I can hear farm bots. I see one over there, second one, and I hear one somewhere around here. And that's fine, let's put the beacon um, here. Something scary, or actually this, this. <laughs> no, no, this, this, this icon. Okay, we've got it. Now let's go back to the Jet Scout. Wow, look. Melted farm bot. Oh, I found desert biome. Another one. Wait, wait. I don't have freaking uh, beacons, but... Perfection. Okay, now we know where to go. So let's go there. We are here. Let me eat something first. Okay. Let's go. Let's hunt some farm bots. Shall we? It's my first time, so expect me to be clumsy. Let's cut it. All right, let's turn the, or actually, let's stand. No, 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 it, it's just sliding too much. This is, this is wrong. Seriously, this surface is like whatever. Whatever I said. I need to find a way. Oh, I see another one. Come here. Look, yes, 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 yes. Get over here. That's it? That's it? Two shots? Seriously? I've built this tank with freaking 21 cannons. Whatever. For three shots? Well, key card. Some stuff. I mean, come on. I I thought it's like, you know, tough boss fight kind of whatever. And you're so freaking weak. I'm not even scared anymore. No, 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 no. Damn it. Okay, now I have to. Oh my goodness. He's dead. Wait, wait. wait. Oh, that was... This one was... Tougher. So I guess it doesn't take, like... Three shots. It kind of feels like... I mean, it really feels like uh, one of the tanks. From Tron. Let's let's do it. No no don't run. Don't run. Let's do it. Drills on. Yo! No! No! Oh my goodness! I'm run! Run damn it! <gasps> no! Chase me, damn it! Chase me! Don't... Come on, chase me. Yo. That was a horrible idea. Come on, chase me. Chase me, damn it. I'm taking my tank. And I'm out of here. It ain't over yet. Round two. I'm gonna get this bot. Let me check its HP. I didn't hurt it much. Okay. He saw me. Yo! Let's 
what happened, damn it. Oh. Don't go back. Gotcha. So I got three. Yes, one, two, three key cards. I think it's enough. So, yeah, I'm I'm quite happy with the bull tank. It's pretty freaking cool. It looks okay. I think I will just get um, maybe wooden blocks three here to just not fall, you know, all the way down here and I cannot go out. But the tank looks cool. I like it. And it's quite deadly. And I like it. And this is the end of this episode. And I hope you liked it. Well, I'm going back to my base. And uh, like I said, in the next episode, we are going to build... Um, we are going to visit uh, one of the warehouses. But mainly, in the next episode, I would like to build ultimate massive, as automated as possible farm. So, see you in the next episode, or in other videos on the channel. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for all the subscriptions and thumbs up. Bull tank. I like it. That would be it for now. Bye.